for every two out of three people that walk through this, or for every three people that walk through this, two of them walk through it quietly and walk through it alone and don't get help. And um, the thing that we want to really say, the thing that we've learned that we're so excited about is that these are issues that are treatable. And more than anything, we want to invite you into a conversation that's really hopeful. If these issues are treatable, that means that there's a tremendous amount of hope that exists in the face of these things. And um, I know that not everyone in this room struggles with those things, but I would imagine that everyone in this room, including everyone who has and will stand on this stage, can relate to, to questions in their life and can relate to pain and can relate to loss and to getting stuck in moments and things that are really difficult and um, we've learned a really powerful a powerful word which is a word called community which I think is that at the end of the night this band's gonna get back in their bus and they're gonna drive away and um, my friend Byron and I are gonna fly back to Florida and these guys are gonna go to work at the station um, and you guys need something you guys probably need more than a hug um, you might need more than a rock show. And so we've learned about this word called community, which I think is the idea that as people that we were meant to do life with other people, that we need other people who actually know us, that we can be honest with. The, the tendency is just to bottle everything up and be really quiet and put on a happy face. And um, we just want to say that there's nothing that's off limits. There's nothing that you can't talk about. And we would just encourage you to, to learn what it means to live an honest life to learn what it means to be a friend to somebody, um, to be there for somebody who's hurting. And I can't imagine something that's more of a privilege or that's more important. Um, do any of, you guys, any of you guys listen to a band called Under Oath? Or, or the um, I have a, a friend who, who has a big head of red hair and he plays, he plays the drums in that band. And um, I, sent Aaron, I sent Aaron a text a few minutes ago and I said, I, said, I don't know what to say, what, what would you say? And he said, um, he said, tell them that, that pain is real and, and tell them that love is real and tell them that they're loved. Um, so that comes from Aaron Gillespie in, in the Almost and Under Oath. Um, so that, that's the thing we really want to say. Um, you guys know it better than I do that, that pain is not just an idea, that all of a sudden this is not just something crazy that happens in another place, but that this, this is real and, and, and now you guys live with this and, and people live with this stuff. And yet we want to say in the face of that that hope is real and that love is real. Um, and I say that on behalf of, of both bands that are going to take the stage tonight. And um, we're here. We'd love to meet you. I have some friends. Our team is here. We'd, we'd love to talk if you have questions about what we do, um, if you have questions about where to get help, if you just want to talk. Um, or you can check us out online. We have a, a MySpace and a website. And um, it's a privilege. I really appreciate you guys listening. And, and we just want you to know everything we're doing grew out of a story. And tonight we want to say that your story is important. If you look at our page right now, there's comments.